For those of you that may not have ever been here, let me explain how we operate right quick so you can keep up with us should you need to. I will call each case by case name and case number. Staff member will come to the lectern and give us the request and staff report. Once we have heard that, there will possibly be discussions and or questions amongst the board members or back and forth to staff. Once we're satisfied we understand that side of it, then I will ask if there are, is anyone, excuse me, anyone here in support or if anyone would like to speak on behalf of the request. If so, please come to the lectern, give us your name and address for the record. Uh, once we have heard from that person or multiple people if the case is such, then we will <coughs> possibly have questions and or discussions. Once we're satisfied as a board, then we will, I will ask if there are any persons here in opposition. If so, if there's opposition or questions about what's being requested, please come to the lectern and give us the information. Normally, we will act on the request here today. However, there is provision in the bylaws that should we feel like information is lacking or parties need to talk, we can postpone until the next regularly scheduled meeting. Uh, we do have a sign-in sheet in the back. If you have not signed in in the back, would you please sign in? First case we're going to call is uh, application 201602, Ray Washington. Is that the correct one? I don't have my agenda. I, you do. There are two cases, Mr. Washington. Right. I've got it. Okay. I have it in the right order. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Washington, this is the first case. This case is one that y'all don't see a whole lot. It's what we call a heat like application. That, and I'll, there will be a quiz at the end. It stands for Previously Existing Land Use Certificate. Remember that, you get 10 bonus points if you get that out there. Um, it's basically for non conforming uses. Mr. Washington owned, operated, a neighborhood food market on the corner of West Street and West Magnolia Street at the address of 522 West Street. It's just a shimmy less than a fifth of an acre, zoned R6, in operation for decades. And I don't know why my there's it here. Um, you've got Mr. Washington's Food Mart, you've got a couple of churches and a barber shop on the four quarters. So you do have commercial uses, albeit not the commercial zoning, except for the barbershop across the street, which is community commercial. You've got Mr. Washington's Food Mart, a um, small building, about 552 square feet, no affiliated parking. If it were built today, parking would be required, but built years ago, parking apparently was not required. Um, adjacent property, you've got churches, you've got residences, you've got a barber shop slash hair salon as well. Mr. Washington owned and operated the store until about until 2014. What a PLEC does is gives him the opportunity to ask to reestablish this use. If it's operating legally at the time the LDR was adopted, which Mr. Washington's food mark was, as long as it keeps continuously operating, it's not an issue. Unfortunately, in 2015, it was not operating. It did not have a business license. There were mitigating circumstances of the business not operating. Because it was out of operation for longer than a year, he would like to operate it. Unfortunately, he has two choices to get it back to operation status. A, ask for the payload. B, go through plan review, go through rezoning, things of that nature to reestablish it. PLUC was the easiest way, for lack of a better word. Staff understood that it's occupied for quarters with commercial uses. It's a neighborhood market. It's not a Walmart, it's not a big box retailer. So its impact on the houses are going to be very minimal, no parking. So most of his track is, is going to be your neighborhood, walk up, snacks, chips, whatever. Um, very little impact on the neighborhood. We understand that it needs to stay that way. So we're recommending approval with two conditions. 
Hey, that there shall be no. Let me get these in order. Hey, that the building shall not be um, all, shall not be enlarged or expanded. Any changes to the site, such as improved parking or driveway, need to be specifically reviewed and approved by the city engineer to determine the impact upon the site as well as the neighborhood. And there shall be no outdoor storage and no freestanding signage to keep it as a part of the neighborhood. Staff recommends approval with those conditions. Any questions? Anybody got any questions about this case? Mr. Washington, I'm assuming you're Mr. Washington. Yeah, yes. Is there anything you would like to add? Uh, I just uh, want to get it back up and put it for the neighborhood over there. You know, it's, it's put a lot of half that, half that house and stuff over there. Close the store there for a whip from the corner of the and the one right in front of the lane here. So I uh, get that, that walk up track, you know, neighborhood over there. They've been, they have a little fools and they've been real off the block. You know, when you open it, they save a lot of time when there's a walk. People walking on boxes. So, so put them in my traffic. Okay. And just for my own edification, what were the circumstances that you had to shut it down? And then well, I worked in that retirement, so I'm back, so I'm working in Atlanta, and so I'm retired, so I'm going to be running full time. Okay. Any other questions? Any? Um, I have one. Did, would you like to have signage on the building somewhere or on the premises? Yeah, the only signage I have right now is on the roof. Keep in mind that the condition is for no freestanding signage. Okay. We can work with him on wall signage. Okay. If he does have some sign or a sign. Yeah, on top of that, on the rooftop, right, right there. That's all I have to know.
Okay, to write the stuff up on the stuff out. But in all honesty, we recommended those positions to, to with the intent to keep it as minimally compact, to minimally compact the neighborhood as possible. But if you would like to get the opportunity to have a freestanding sign or to have up more storage, you're welcome to remove those conditions. Is there any space on the, on the back side? Yeah. Oh, yeah. In the back, yeah. Oh, yeah. I got a lot of them in the back. Yeah, I need mean, to. Right. I mean, I, I definitely. I was planning on putting a storage building, a little small storage building, so I have a lot of racks and stuff. I buy new racks, and I need somewhere. I did need somewhere to store it. So I, I put everything, turn everything inside the store. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
um, with condition number one, the building may not be enlarged or expanded, but not with condition number two. Uh, do you want to expand that into a limit or restriction? Well, no, that, that he'll just follow. I mean, he's under the conditions of the LDR. If he's going to put an accessory structure on, it's going to be, be the setbacks and, and be of the size that it should. Do we uh, small. Add that to the I think I'm, you intend to incorporate freestanding signage as well, or just the No, he, he, he's, he's, he can have a freestanding sign in my mind if he wants. I mean, I don't think he's got probably going to want it. He's going to pull my foot on the side of the building. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I just want to make sure yeah. you get it. Just, in just, a minute like you want. just condition number one. You can't make the building any bigger. Right. Well, I appreciate that. So I okay, I have a motion on the floor from Ms. Portland, Portland to grant the request to ask for Presented with the stipulation number one, building not to be expanded or enlarged, and such as that, no parking driveways. Do I have a second? Second. I have a second, Mr. Alvarado. All in four favor, please raise a hand. Unanimous, good luck with you. Thank you all very much. All right. All right. The next case is. APP 2016-03, Crossing Jordan Baptist Church. Yes, ma'am. This particular request is for Crossing Jordan Baptist Church. It's located at 1401 Cypher Street in Mark 6, Single Family Zoning District. The property is about three acres and contains about 97 square, 9,700 square foot church. The reason the applicant is here is because our six zoning districts allow for signage, monument signage, in, let's see, no larger than 24 square feet, no taller than six feet for institutional uses, such as churches, things of that nature. The applicant went what we call a bearable message board, one of those signs that, that, that are computer controlled to reflect, you know, certain messages, whether it's dates and times of services or a special speaker or something like that. It's a lot electronically controlled rather than the manual reader boards where you have to take down letters and put up new letters. Those are only allowed in commercial zoning districts, not R6. That's why the applicant is here. That is a schematic, a kind of schematic of what the applicant is looking for. Church is a the existing sign, sorry, not um, adjacent property is a combination of uses from residential to manufacturing to commercial uses. We understand that there are commercial uses nearby, but we also understand that there are neighborhoods as well, single family homes. We recognize the need as well for more modern signage, if you want to call it. <coughs> so, staff repeat the request recommended for approval with two conditions. Number one, that the bearable message board panel may occupy no more than 50% of the total copy area of the sign. So partial static panel, partial electronic message board, bearable message board. And to kind of keep with the intent that there are neighborhoods around. The second condition would be that the bearable message board may change, the message may change no more than three times an hour. Any questions? What was that? I don't know. I neglected the measure when I was out there. Do you want to wait until the application comes through? I have a question about um, the sort of in my mind, the reason why we have electronic variable message signs is twofold. One is it's, they're easier to change, and two is that you can get several messages to a person who's driving by, um, you know, in a, in, in a, it, you know, they have to be there a certain amount of time, but right. um, I would have to drive by three times in an hour to get all three messages. That seems like it's sort of being kind of hard on getting messages. We, we, we do understand. The intent was to, to, there are parameters in which messages are allowed to change. Every 10, 12 seconds, the message can change. Trying to balance that, the ability to change frequently and more often, 
with the fact that there are neighborhoods, single family residences around. Now, whether we strike the right balance, I'm not sure, but the board can adjust if they necessary. Okay. Any other questions? Any comments at this time? We'll ask the gentleman when he gets here if he knows. I didn't know. Mr. Hogan. Yeah, I, I didn't notice. Um, I actually went around there today. I didn't notice that, like, almost across the street, you have like range constructions, mm -hmm. warehouse across the street. Right. Uh, on the other side, it's a daycare. On the other side, it's some construction buildings, uh, sheet metal places. It's actually, a very diverse. It is. It is. It's actually more commercial than I've seen in residential. Well, and, and the church owns. Several lots that are on Mildred Street. Two great new friends. Any other questions or discussions? Sorry, we'll ask. Anyone in support, please come to the lectern. Give me your name and address for the record, please. Uh, my name is Ronnie Mathis. My uh, street address is 1240 Pumbo Drive, Austin, Georgia. Um, you're going to see the pastor of the church. Okay. Anything you would like to add to what as the staff has presented to us? Uh, no more than uh, I, I'm really trying to uh, get our church up, up to date in the 21st century. You know? I think I've caught maybe two or three colds to you to that side <laughs> in the weather. But um, it's something that we've been basically planning on doing the last five years. And we just decided it was time to do it. Okay, your question about size. Do you happen to know the size of that sign? Um, I think the height of that sign, um, just the sign itself without being on the poles, I'm looking at just the sign, uh, it's probably four by six feet, four feet by six feet. But now the way they have it in, in, the, in the poles and sign, it takes it probably six feet off the ground and the top of that pole to the to the ground because I'm five nine and it's up above my head when I stand stand up to it. So right there where you see it now it's probably about it's either five feet or six feet from the ground. But that's not that's just being in the pole. Because you'll notice the bottom of the sign, um, you know, there's a leeway between the sign and the and the actual so the sign that you are wanting to replace it with is going to be about the same square footage that the current sign has. Um, pretty much, yes. Yes. You have a drawing of the sign. Yes, sir. That's it right there. That's actually a little bit bigger than what we can permit. Well, that's why I was asking because I, I had some notes that when I when I looked at that it was. A little taller than six feet and appeared to be a little bit more than. It's a little bit bigger than what we can find. I think the objective for getting it up off the ground was because of rocks and moors and stuff with that LED sign. Um, uh, where kids just can't come put their hand on it. I think that's what uh, Mr. Jordan and I talked about. You know, want to have the LED sign down to the where in it's touchable. How high are you proposing? Um, what, I mean, right there it says 100 inches. And keep in mind that I can't approve anything taller no. than six feet. Did he give you what it was? Well, that's, that's, what, that's what it's going to be, six feet, six feet. Uh, whatever he submitted to you, I, I don't have, I just brought, I didn't bring my other documents, but it's... That, um, that was given to me by Mr. Jordan, mm -hmm. and he's showing something that's 100 feet, I mean 100 inches. Yeah. So basically, eight feet. feet. Yeah. Eight feet four inches is hundred inches. Yeah. Well, can you give an amount and
Okay. I, I have a question about the property that's on the corner of Cypress and Mildred. Okay. Um, I know that you own the lots that are in the middle there. Do you, does the church own those lots on the corner? or are we, own, we own 307 and 305. 309 is owned by Mr. Edwards. So we own the two buildings. Mm -hmm. So the, on the, this, this one that's on the very corner, we don't own No, we don't own that. That's all on the state of it. That's 309, Mildred Street. And the, can we go back to the sign again? Sure. That's a scrolling message kind of LED board, or is it going to be the one where every um, pixel can be a different color? No, it's, we'll be, it's, it's going to be all the, all the letters are going to be red. It's going to be okay. black, black, brown, red. So is it going to be scrolling or just, uh, you know, services? You see it one, you know, it just, it's like a blank in and out. It's not scrolling, it's just blank in and out.
Um, but that, that was years ago. Um, my, my objective is basically not to have anything flashing, scrolling, but we would like to minister to people, you know, in the morning time with the scripture, um, daily, you know, with the word. Nothing that's going to flash, nothing that's going to scroll or twist, but we want to be able to, that they get the word. Now this sign here has three lines, so we should be able to get pretty much everything on it from first sight. Um, but then there are times when we have special stuff going on. We may need to have something on the first scroll or blank flash, whatever we were talking about, and then something comes in later. It just, just depends. Um, um, do you keep the sign on, on the phone? Yeah, it stays on. We've never, I've never cut it off. Um, he had some weather came and hit it with a tree limb or something that somehow I'll talk to you about too. But it, it stays on. Matter of fact, you go by that now, it's on. Yeah. Is the reason that he's here based on just the size of the sign? We can't permit. I couldn't write him a permit now. I couldn't approve a permit now for him to have a variable message for it because of the R6 sign. If he was commercially zoning, yes, I could. But the reason he's here is because of the LED and the Okay, so uh, surrounding him, is all Oakmer from here, and then he owns these lots here, so if he wanted, he could do rezoning and become commercial. Then what would he be able to do by right? He could have a bigger sign, 75 square feet, 24 feet tall, and honestly, this is the roof of that we're doing it. Very interesting rather than rezoning. But the rezoning route would have been probably the time of that I, that I did not talk. All I know is that Matt recommended that Dr. Mathis pursue this rather than me. Oh. He's in the middle of M1 and CC. I mean, I, 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 that would they would be crazy not to recommend that. And honestly, Gretchen, it's partially governed to by the character areas. I don't know what character area this is. If he's in a character area, keep in mind that I don't remember any rezonings in this meeting a character area is is something that allows it there are neighborhood character areas that preserve neighborhoods it doesn't allow commercial living districts in those neighborhoods there are commercial neighbor there are commercial character areas that don't allow residential living in those character areas this zoning pattern was set to make it together I don't know what the future area is. I don't know if the reason why Matt said it was the variance route instead of the zoning route is because of the character area or because of the character area issue. I don't know. It might have been, it might not have been. It's more commercial. Oh, yeah, it's good to know. Oh, yeah. And it's adjacent to commercial. Mm -hmm. Just yeah. because, keep in mind, the zoning pattern was set years ago. If the character area might be a problem, it might not be a problem. I can't tell you about this thing. I understand the questions, and I understand the concerns. Okay. Okay. Now, let's hear. Okay. Any other questions, discussions? One, one other thing while you look at Can you go into the sign? The visual sign? Uh, right, right there. If you should go on the pitch there on the sign, uh, I don't know. Is this the place to discuss this come up? But there was a tree that has fell on that sign three times. Uh, and when we go back with the new sign, we're going to be doing something with the tree because it's it's the limbs. It's just yeah, that's, that's that not is not something us. you'd have. Okay. 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 That's not us. Okay. Okay. I just want to make sure before I left. <laughs> okay. Any other questions, discussion? Anybody else here in support? No ghost. Anybody here in opposition or have a question about what's being requested and contacted your office? Okay, ladies and gentlemen, you've got the meat of it, I think. Any other questions, discussions before I ask for a motion? Can we get a motion on this request? 
Um, I make a motion that we approve um, the following staff's recommendation. However, only condition number one, fair must must report make. I know that more than 50% of the total copy area is signed, and not that second thing. Okay. Any any reference to? Height and size because what's drawn does not meet height and size requirements. And honestly, I'm not sure that the board has the capabilities to make a very or to grant the variance to height and size because all that was advertised was they didn't even ask for that. All that was advertised was for the LED and the very last But she can add. Okay. She, she can do it administratively if we give them the sign. That is a potential to do administrative. Right. And if whatever, if it cannot be satisfied administratively because it was not advertised and not specifically denied, he can turn back around and come in and say, I need a little bit more. It would be another application or another variance. Correct. He would not be prohibited for 12 months. Yes, sir. Correct. Now, and that, and that, I mean, that another application, is that another $500? Yes, sir. I'm afraid so. Yes, sir. Well, we need to scream it out <laughs> no. Well, but we can't do that because it was not advertised. At the time that this she should be able to do it administratively. To we we, we can do a we we can't get you to sign the moon and the stars administratively. Potentially a couple more feet again potentially. It might be a well. Here, here here's the solution to that. You tell you go and decide on what's the height that I can. That's what we'll do. We we don't have to keep going. You just tell me what I can do. We'll do that. Okay. Uh, and, uh, but it, it won't, I, I don't want it, I don't want it the minimum, I want it the max that we can do. And the tallest you can have is a six foot sign. Okay, with the addition that she was talking about, that you can give me some additional room. Then we'll, we'll talk after the meeting. I don't have my regulations in front of me. I can't tell you right now that if, I, that if we can give you two feet, I can't, I don't have those memorized. I'm sorry, but we can talk but after. We, but we have some flexibility between the six and the possibility of what you can give me. Yes, sir. Okay. You're, you're looking at 8.3 right here. Okay. So and, and she's offered you 6, so there's probably some room. Yeah, I mean, if, if we get to 7, I mean, as long as I run to 35, I know that I have a lot of It is. It is an application thing. Um, there's an application similar to what you filled out here. Even with what you're talking about, about the discussion between yes, the six? Yes, sir. But it's $500? There is $100 for the administrative why don't we just, um, why don't we just add, some, add, to, add to the motion and, and just give them the 70? That's it wasn't a, it, was it advertised. wasn't advertised. Because they didn't ask for it. But we can't and do it. Because it wasn't advertised. advertised, should somebody in the neighborhood come back and say, hey, I didn't know you were going to allow him to get bigger and taller, otherwise I'd have been here and not for the right, right, right. So basically what, what Mr. Jordan asked for was 100, 100 inches. That's what was, he That's didn't what, ask for that. He didn't ask for that. He just All said this is a draw. And your application was for the addition of a variable message. Okay, but the drawing says 100 inches. So we didn't that, get that until a week after the deadline. A week after the deadline. For the, 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 for the, the middle of the application. So, so can we grant that based on um, your findings that you can talk a matter or whatnot? Can we just go ahead and put that in the motion that we can grant the eight feet, but based on... Mr. Hogan, again, he, I would, I would rather not. It's a separate process, and it, the eight feet may not be something we can take to the bank. I'm not sure exactly of the exact parameters. Choice, if we do a postponement yeah. for 30 days, could the height of the new sign be worked out? Please, Carmella, thank you. 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 Please, Carmella
the scriptures. Money is the root of all evil, they say.
squeeze down because of some electronic engineering or something. That's right, but I think even without, I think that the size of just the reader board is indicated is still within the size parameters. It's just the rest of the thing has more. Well, but it's also stipulated that the reader board cannot be more than 50% of the sign, and if the reader board is a larger percentage because they had to scale back to fit, okay. now it doesn't meet the 50%. Well, then all that means is unless the variance is granted, the size of the sign has to be within code, and if the reader board needs to shrink, then the reader board needs to shrink. Um, now, if you want to go ahead and grant additional variances, those would be valid unless challenged. And honestly, Matt, to, to add, I didn't know that I didn't think they had the authority to grant additional variances that weren't advertised in the newspaper. And they really don't, but sometimes that has been stretched in the past. I don't recommend that you do it, certainly. Well, that would you can do that if you for a sign. In terms of height and size, I mean, staff looks at it as two ways. This is sort of an unusual situation. One of their options was to seek commercial zoning, which would allow bigger signs, would allow the reader board. Staff is not really supportive of commercial zoning on this part of Cyber Street, although it's sort of a mixture through it, it, there. It's, it's he's a wedge between F1 and CC. Yeah, what, what makes sense? But directly to... across the street from residential. And the use is not a commercial use, it's an institutional use. Right? So that was one option. Um, we recommended a variance for the reef board, and that's all that was talked about before. There was no indication of making a bigger and taller, other than the notion that the sign that was already there was pretty short and pretty small, and yet it could be larger than what was already there. Um, there's a church down the street that has a sign that is of medium height and medium size, and I certainly wouldn't want to recommend anything taller than the one down the street. So if he wanted to go taller or bigger with the variance, then maybe that would be the other limit. Did you know George said, he said, because Mr. George said, I mean, he, he gets seven feet. Right now we have six, so he gets seven, seven feet of height? From the right. No, right. Yeah. Right, which is less than what you've got shown mm -hmm. in that schematic. Right, right. right. What about the actual physical copy? It's going to be just like the sand there. It's just going to be up off the ground. If you go back to the piece, let me, let me show you what you have. This is what you have. The sign that's up there right. is. All right, this is the sign itself. Right. It's going to be on something from the ground. So right. instead of this being, it's going to be, now it's going to be cut a little shorter, bring that sign down. But the sign will be the sign, it's going to be the size of the, of the oh. code. Well, but of the code, well, that's what the sign is. Without any further dimensions, that board is looking to be pretty close to four by eight, maybe slightly well, bigger, which is yeah. 32 square feet. Right. And what he's allowed is 24. So that's another half less than thirty percent or another, better. Yeah, well, almost another forty percent. Yeah. Which with a variance, administrative variance is only twenty percent. So he would still have to scale back unless we bruise the rule, so to speak, give him a little bit more even though it was not advertised. It's not specifically advertised. Right. And at that point, not that I'm advocating that, I'm just, I'm just discussing it, putting it out so that we can all look at it. The only downside to that is if somebody in the future comes back and says, hey, it wasn't properly advertised, then it puts us at risk for somebody, I guess they'd have to go to the Superior Court. Yeah, it could be challenged even be challenged. beyond the 30-day window. So there's just 30 days that it can be challenged. Normally. Okay, where but is they this? saw a procedural thing. You know, I won't try it in, but it goes beyond that. Where is the church that you were talking about? Is it's it in the, the one pictures, on, I think. Is it the one on Howard Street? The other, the it's other church? Is. It's to the east on Cypress, a little bit to the south. Because I know there's a church, I think, down Howard Street. I don't know. Let's see what's up there. These, these one of the pictures we have, it was shown in the back. If you'll grant me a few minutes, I can go find a picture and print one out that shows 
subject property church and then the sign of the other church in the background. I remember looking at the picture. How long will it take? Three months. Well, let me, let me, while I was doing that, I mentioned something. Um, um, my, my, my good friend down, down the street, um, the, can I just have the same height for a Maybe yes, maybe no. Okay. The problem there, we don't know what his sign is, and we don't know whether that sign was properly permitted or whether it skated by somehow. And as soon as we say, yeah, you can match his, but his isn't legal, now both of them are not legal. And we don't know what his zoning is either. Trying to fill you in this zoning category. Bear with us. Give us just a minute. We, we're not done yet. And I'm, I'm going to try not to put you in a box that you're not happy with. Okay. I'm going to try not to spend your money and we're going to try not to put you in a box. So that okay. Sir, do you know how tall the actual sign, not, not the, to include the monument, but the sign itself? The, the schematic that we have shows that, that you want it to be 92 inches wide, but the height only shows the full height from the um, ground to the top. It doesn't show the actual size of the sign itself. Uh, while we wait on that, let's see where Mr. Jordan is and see if we get him to come in if you can come in two minutes. Um, I'm probably only guessing, but I, I figure if it's, if, it's, if it's eight foot, the base probably be four. Saturday probably. Three I, I figured it's four, roughly four by eight, which is 32. Mr. Jordan, so you'll be in just a minute. So I'm just curious, okay, uh, so do we have uh, the administrative power to grant the whole thing? That's, Matt said that that was a possibility, but it could be challenged. Would you 30 days? No. I don't think it's a challenge, but we've at least got to be. Well, what was the 30 day period? 
if it's, if it's advertised. And, and most of it going to the area is either you, you, you work on that road, you stay on that road, or you go to church on that road. There's really not a lot of traffic, you know, there. So. Not, not arguing. All I'm saying is from a pure technical legal standpoint, we would be acting on something that was not advertised. And should somebody decide to question it, it would open us up and we would probably have very little defense because we took action that was not within the parameters that we had advertised. And they could then throw everything we offered him out the door to just start over. And it's a 30 day window? If we do something that wasn't advertised, they can challenge at any time. Oh, if they even don't, out of 30 days? Correct. correct. If they don't like the decision that we made I, on something that was advertised, they have 30 days. Oh, that's not the same. People that, that can challenge that are the ones that we sent the letters to. Anybody. Huh? Anybody. Anybody. Yeah. Yeah. The, the church down the road, for some reason, your sign is slightly bigger, slightly taller. And he says, hey, I can't do that. But he did. How did he do that? He wasn't advertised. I think I'll hire one of the lawyers in the congregation to go down there, and they get your case thrown out. In which case, you've got to turn around and come back, and we've got to revisit all this again and advertise it again. Meanwhile, they're all sitting there looking at us through a fine tooth magnifying glass because as soon as we act on yours, they coming down here. Mr. Jones, Good afternoon, James. Hello. How are you? Can I get your name and address for the record? Okay. James Jordan, 208 Perfect Street, Jordan Custom Sign. Okay. Picture. Yes. Sir. LED message board. Are they infinitely variable in size or do they come in set sizes? Set sizes because of the matrix make up of the LED units. Okay. What is that size board? Uh, it's 31 and 3 quarter inches by 92 inches. Okay, so it is two and a half by seven and a half. Yes. The LED portion? Well, the cabinet's like three quarters of an inch around it. Okay. I guess, I apologize, I'm asking um, where it says Crossing Jordan Baptist Church, that's an additional. Yes. So just the LED portion is so, the 31 and a quarter yes. inches. So do you know what this proposed top to bottom of this sign, not the, the monument that it stands on, but the actual sign is? Oh, not without me in front of my computer. I, I'm just going to guess that it is there. You're probably looking at, oh, I'm just going to say five, five and a half foot. From round to top. What are you talking about message for? Yeah, you got 31 inches, and I think that other was about 30 inches. So if we were just saying that then the part of the sign crossing Jordan Baptist Church and the LED message board is five feet tall and seven feet wide. Do these LED message boards come in a size smaller than seven feet across? That's eight feet. Not from the companies that I represent, which is two different companies, Vactronics being one and think size being another. That's kind of a standard makeup of the matrix of these LED units. Oh, you can get some indoor units smaller, like you may see in some of these store windows, but not this design for outside use. Okay, we, we jumped in and asked a question before you had a chance. What we've got is the sign height and the sign copy area. Mm -hmm was not presented to staff as being a variance request. <clears throat> Therefore, the only variance that was requested 
was to put the, re the reader board on the sign. What had been drawn and requested now was not advertised. So it puts us in limbo to grant a larger sign than is allowed by code. And that's what the rest of it is. The sign that's out there now is it's basically, I think, a 4 by 8, 32 square foot. So it may be just a little bit. Yeah. Right, but the four by eight is there is actually technically right. too large. It's grandfathered in, okay. but it doesn't meet code because code says 24, 25, 24, 24 square feet, which is very small. Size. Which is very small, but you know because of the code is the code. That we're in. If we were in CC, these requirements would be. No, no argument. If it was a CC, you could put a lot bigger sign. Without coming here and spending $500, what you've got to spend is the money to get results in CC. Okay, so now we have the information on the size of the sign, and that is pretty much locked in to that being the minimum size. We have the Eric Cross and Jordan, and there's the sign down there. That's the place where the one down the street. Sir, I'm, I'm not sure if it matters. If I should even bring it up, but, but she mentioned wanting the, the height of the sign, where it is, so that kids could come in. Well, it's, it's, it's not convenient. Well, it's not, it, it, was, it was so they wouldn't be, since him, he wanted to get it above the, in cars, park at the car, it was lucky. It's only going to be three feet off the ground. It's, the LED is going to start three feet off the ground. Well, I, I, may, have, I may have said something that was wrong, but. Okay, I mean, well, I just want you to know that that. Wait, 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 wait. It's, it's, you're not going to accomplish what you're wanting to that way. Okay. They'll, they'll be all over it. Okay, I have a question on the floor. If we postpone and give them the opportunity to correct their application and re-advertise for a variance on height and size, do they have to pay more money? We would have to re-advertise, and what I would interpret in this is we would charge them the advertising fee for the newspaper board or bank letters. The sign's already there, we can amend the sign. And it would be something less than 500 for that portion of the newspaper. Right? So it's probably not a whole lot less. Because the main cost is the advertising fee. Right. And we have other cases going to the newspaper this month, so there's a little bit of economy of scale. And uh, we don't have other Arizona Court of Appeals cases, so it would be the cost of his portion plus the preamble for your meeting. It would be a few hundred, probably three to five hundred, probably three to four hundred, something like that. We can check and see. Do you know what your cost is Administrative variance could give him without the maximum he can request administratively is 20% increase in sign area, 10% of height. I'm not getting that back. I think you actually have. Okay. 20% area, 10% height. Mm -hmm. it's, it's a low percentage. Too much of the square footage. 20%. 20%. 20%. 24 adding another 20% gives you almost 5 feet. So it becomes roughly 29 square feet. It's still not anywhere near that. Yeah, what he's got up there is. Well. I mean, the width of that at, not, at 92 inches is way, way over. Yeah, Jane yeah, said it was 5 plus copy area. We can adjust it for whatever, but. The LED and a small sign of thought. The five five so the, the, the problem with that, James, I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah, one thing you might not have realized or considered, I'm going to crazy explain it, but the other option is to grant the various reversible message board. You've got a grandfather being on the morning sign, swap out the panel for a variable message board that's a 50% sign. I'm not talking about that but that's one thing that you've got a sign that's there that's 32 square feet we think mm -hmm. and you could grant the variance with the type of sign and so you could swap out the equivalent of a half panel 
the lyrical message, but you see the existing sign with its grand car living in a larger area. Oh. You won't get the height. We didn't talk about We didn't talk about that. Well, that's one option. Now, let me add some more, more spice to the soup. Um, in terms of view shed, you see the picture of this church and the church behind it. And I remember from driving it, because Cypress Street is curved just to the east of here. When you're coming west on Cypress, you're looking straight at the front yard of this church. And that sign is directly in front of you. And I don't, personally don't see the need for anything larger or taller because it's already very visible. If you're like coming down the street, there's no signs to compete with. There's nothing blocking your view if you're coming from the east. How much would it have cost them to do uh, something change to CC? It would be the same filing fees, but we would also need a meets and balance with the description for the property. Were they eligible? With the survey. Were they eligible for caregiver? They are, yes. So that is the caregiver would have to be changed. <coughs> but that may or may not be and, approved. And we didn't recommend how oh, and we didn't recommend that to them because well, one, it may not get approved. It's across from residential zoning. And so it's silly to rezone the property to, for the purposes of having the no, that, that residential property is surrounded by M1. Yes. Yeah, it's a, it's a very mixed zoning pattern. But when you drive down Cypress Street, I mean, that part of it is you know, not the same as Patrick Street. Is the seven sign? The smallest sign, the empty sign that your, that your company has. Well, the, the size was actually 30 something inches by, by seven, but that's about the smallest you're going to get, and the less you get something custom made. But I don't even, the two companies I represent do not make it a custom for outdoor use. 30 inches by seven feet is two and a half times seven. Very so you're saying 30 inches by 7 feet? Yes. All right, so 2 and a half feet times 7 is 17 and a half square feet. Roughly half of a 32 square foot size. Okay, so if we, if yeah. we don't make the variable message board may only occupy for more than 50%, because they're actually going to be more than 50%, we'll say 60% can't be more than 60% and they replace it on their non-conforming sign, then they could just take down the part that's the letters that they're putting out there now, use their same top piece on their same posts and put a variable message bolted onto there. It's part of right. And that's a standard sign that, that wouldn't be imposing an undue cost to them? We could, we could adapt something to the end, but my question to them is, when you spend that kind of money on an LED message board on a foundation you're not sure of, you know, if, you know. Similar to, it doesn't have to be exactly, but instead of being on a monument, sitting close to where you have drawn to have it on what's there, like, like what's there now, two posts on the side so that their top sign that they have would be the same. And if you add a monument support to it, that doesn't change the sign's area or shape or configuration. That should still be okay. 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 So it, it could be the post. The frame the post. Keep the frame post. I would like to modify my motion. I'm like okay. Something. Hold on just okay. one second. Okay. You know, we've got these rules for aesthetic purposes make things attractive in neighborhoods. Here you've got this beautiful modern church. The current sign that they have does not fit with the new church. The new sign that they're proposing looks like it goes with this new beautifully maintained church and yet we're wanting to take an old sign and add to it. Isn't that what we're talking about possibly doing? Which well, seems we're like it defeats the purpose of the aesthetic part. Technically, what we're doing is saying the new sign cannot be any bigger than the existing old sign. We're basically replacing part of the 
panel over the old sun. And if they, if they re engineer and put it on a single post in the center instead of two posts on the outside, right. as long as it is same place, same basic size, same basic height, and everything else, then they can live with that. Replacing a 32 square foot panel with one that is half LED. Right. Is this going to look attractive? It's, that's a workable people. And it's going to look in keeping with the church. Yeah, yeah. Because the church is one of the nicest assets in the neighborhood. I mean, you can talk about residential, but the residential does not compare to what they've done as far as this church building. I think the sign that's there is pretty good shape. It is. Okay. I okay. Just have to say that. If there's no further discussion, we have a motion on the floor from Ms. Quarterman and she wants to uh, amend it slightly. I would like to make a motion that we approve the variance to replace the existing sign variable message portion with a digital LED variable message portion where the variable message portion can occupy no more than 75% of the existing total copy of the sign. We're going to replace the bottom half because the crust of Jordan is sort of little at the top. They have that big message board at the bottom. So we're going to replace it with something that's an LED sign and it's not going to take up more than 75% of it. Stay within the same height. And same size, within the same size they have now, four by Same size, same height. Four by okay, That is the motion. Is that with a new foundation or is that utilizing the foundation? Foundation can be anything you want. Okay. Correct. We're talking about sign, total height, sign, copy, total copy. So you're still, no. you're 32 square foot and whatever the existing height is of the sign now. Because what you got is grandfathered in, otherwise, it's got to be six foot unless they want to apply for an administrative variance at which point they could probably get slightly over seven feet. But the sign is already too big for the code. So right. That works against them. Yeah. But they always would have the option in the future of seeking another variance approval for something bigger or taller. Okay. Or rezoning. Because it's not a character area. Okay, we have motion on the floor. Do we have a second? Second. I have a second for Mr. Alvarado. I heard him for her. You can All in favor, raise a hand. Unanimous. Thank you very much for all of your time trying to wade through. Thank you. Thank you. Make it look good, please. All right. Okay. Where is my agenda that I did print for Okay. Approval of minutes. I read them, didn't see anything. Anybody else see something I missed? Please. Can I get a motion to accept the minutes as presented? Motion, Mr. Alvarado. Second, please. I have a second, Katrina. All in favor, raise your hand. Unanimous, thank you very much. Last thing before we move on. This is what is being proposed information wise, maybe pretty close, maybe not. And this is a template that I kind of come up with. Um, is this how big it's going to be? Not sure. No, it's not going to be that big. Mm -hmm. I just did it big enough to be. <laughs> it's going to be a walking sign board. Front and back. So when you walk around, add information when you can. When you want to take away, you can. Um, we're going to have those. Um, well, actually, Chief, at least Chief, Chief see. Childress. And honestly, they're probably going to look more like my ID without your height and weight. And, I don't know if you're, you're real or you're something. Without your height and weight, um, they're going to look very similar to mine. They're going to have your full name. They're going to have your expiration date, your, when your term ends. Um, Photographs. Right. And that you are a Lowndes County slash D. Baldoss says I mean Board of Appeals. I say Baldoss here. Okay. I have problems with any of that. A, 
Headshot. Headshot. You know, we can get that today and we'll be on Could our way. Can you just send me one? Hmm? You can send me one. Sure, I can take one. You can send me one, whatever. Watch your butt. I've got my camera if you'd like to see me after. I'll take your mug shot. You have mine saved already, right? Yeah, don't make that face call. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody all right for the day. <laughs> yes, Tom, how are you? Uh, what's um, makeup? We have some new makeup. You have the city has one, and then you've got one. Uh, Obviously. Oh, county commissioners don't do this quarterly. Mm -hmm. So the, um, the terms expire in July. Uh, Max, um, expire in August. We'll probably start that process maybe June. Mine is July. Did you reapply? This is a July. Oh, you have to reapply, man. It is in July. He didn't want to join us again. That's why he didn't reapply. No one told me. <laughs> well, it's my understanding you've been told now if you want to stay with us, please reapply because they're going to have to re advertise because according to well, Tracy, nobody. Appointee. We had Nancy as a city appointee. That has been advertised. It's on the agenda for this week, but no one applied. Okay. It has well, to be determined. Well, that was my next question. Has so anything what the been worked going, out? Right. So what the city is going to do is re-advertise for their council meeting in June, possibly July, but I think June. Okay, but that still didn't solve if Nancy wanted to reapply. Well, the no, city seat she's not eligible. We had this back and forth with one attorney. Right. And what we talked about doing was fixing it. So one city appointee and one county appointee are each attorneys. So there's always going to be an attorney here, at least more likely. And that we don't have to worry about this well, back and forth sort of thing. When, so when, when John replaced Laverne, he should have been replaced. I mean, that should have been the attorney. She was not the designated not attorney appointee. Paul was yeah. as a county member. Even the term before that, when the two seats came up, Paul went from being a city appointee to a county appointee. What do I need to do? I'm confused. Now the flip side is, is that the city would appoint Paul to be a city appointee and, and Nancy goes back to being a county appointee. Let's just do that. Yeah. And that's just sort of silly to do that because if one government doesn't follow suit, then you've got a one-term person what do you recommend that we do? Each government have one attorney appointed, so we don't have to worry about the type of person in the seat, whether it's an IE attorney or not. And then we always have at least one attorney here. Yeah. So it takes the pressure off of you being the only attorney, but you've got to be here in every meeting to be the attorney for the board. So this Especially when you sick. Yeah. Exactly. Exactly. So then we, with two people, you have a much better chance of having legal representation. I got a question. Who do I sign? See her. Carmella. So would that then put Nancy to where she was not eligible to be on the board? That's right. Well, that then... For this appointment round. We told her, don't go very far, or else we'll come find her. Well, I think the next opportunity. I was not going to... I totally signed up in October. It's just, just life's just busy right now, so she can take my place so that there's and finish out my term. That's sweet. Okay. That's something y'all can figure out. There's, you know, they don't have to decide that now, but and there's but no guarantee. Yeah, yeah, and she's a city appointee. If she resigns, and city council's got to vote and replace vote on the replacement. Which hopefully would be Nancy, but it could somebody. be someone else. Yeah, they don't have somebody else anymore. Yeah, exactly. There's no guarantee of any of this. We probably jumble ourselves too much here. Okay. I mean, you know, we also <laughs> have one of you running okay. for public office, which if they yeah. win, that becomes another issue that we have to replace them. We're all the <laughs> So there's a lot of ifs. So I'm waiting for turn the we off we're off we're adjourned. We're adjourned. We're technically adjourned. I'm shutting this off, but we're trying to talk about this at the same time, so it's not in the recording. Okay.